top story tonight. Actual news. Holy shit. Three news articles and this fucking dude whom I saw on Twitter. And so I just have to... Alright, I thought it was photoshopped. This is real. And, uh, speaking of... Speaking of meme clips that I have prepared... really all I have to say about this guy. Um, very interesting. Big brain move. Ooh, what shall we, you know, let's talk about paint first, because I'm not really a painter. I do some painting streams, but they're hella fucking boring. Um, what do we have here? A new era. A new era of paints. New contrast. Kalu Kalaors. Reformulated shades and our best white spray ever. What are these new colours? Um, enhance. Enhance. All right. These look like game pieces for a board game, but obviously these are unfinished. It's looking pretty vibrant, actually. This is very vibrant. These colours, these colours here. Cool. Let's read on. Uh -huh. Paint makes Warhammer. And gorgeous miniatures are a key part of the Warhammer hobby. There's nothing better than two epic looking armies facing off on the battlefield, and we all take great enjoyment sharing our proudest paint jobs on the intranet. True. To help you keep creating incredible armies and draw dropping models. Massively expanded. <laughs> Massively expanded. Alright, nice. Our contrast range, improving our range of amazing shade paints, creating our smoothest and brightest ever white spray. The best just got better. Before we take a closer look, here's every new hue arriving at a paint rack near you. Alright, new Sade's. All reformulated to apply effortlessly, even. Uh, all right, Mortarian Grime, Berserker Blood Shade, Croak Green, Pox Walka, Soulblight Gray, Targor Rajay Shade, and Tyron Blue. All right. Shades. And then we got 25 sensational new colours to make painting creative schemes easier than ever. All right, new contrast paints. Um, has anyone tried contrast paints? Are these good? Comment below. Like, how, how is, um, how are the contrast paints? Perhaps these new ones are going to be different or better, or more maybe just the same but different colors. They're good, you like them, they are good. Contrast paints are excellent for speed painting. Airbrush for full power. They're very inky, okay. Contrast paints are pretty good, but vary depending on what you're painting. You need to know how to use them properly. I mean, that's paint, right? Good for things, not a Swiss Army knife. It's the only GW paint you buy? Damn, that's an endorsement if I ever heard it. Very pigmented, very versatile. You love them for big terrain pieces? Slop them over a Zenithal Prime. They're a good tool in the tool chest. Yeah, probably. You like the black, you dislike the white and the gray. You like contrast and one of your main complaints was not having certain colors, and then here we go, okay. They take to textures very well. Some of the colors are much more useful than others. They take some practice to really master. A little expensive, but great for adding vibrancy like inks, okay. So we got, this looks like a, what is this? Bad Moon Yellow, Imperial Fist, and Iron Jaws Yellow. Three different yellows to look pretty similar, but I'm sure they don't. If this is really what it looks like, that's in, that's incredible. I... Maybe this picture is enlarged to show texture, you know, like on cereal boxes or something, but... Um, yellow is famously hard to paint well. And if it actually looks like this, I imagine the thing... Underneath this, it's like pure, you know, absolute white primed 
and they just globbed it on. But still, it looks good in this picture anyway. Thick wash. All right, a bunch of different colors. And we're griming. Rattling grime. We're griming. I... This one looks really light to be. And then... Citadel Kalauer White Scar. Our brightest white spray ever, which applies smoothly. No fuss. Okay, so I imagine whatever you're priming underneath these is going to really, really affect it. This isn't just like you're slapping on base coats and then you can't see what's underneath them. This is like... If you're going this crisp of a white, I probably can believe this yellow on top of it. Because a lot of painting has to do with what's underneath it. New Contrast Kalauers. In 2019, the alchemical geniuses of the Citadel Kalauer Labs came up with contrast. A revolutionary new range of paints made painting miniatures faster and easier than ever and unlocked fresh approaches to painting. Damn, I should have used that. I'd be done already. It helped countless hobbyists express their creativity, whether painting battle-ready armies or golden demon entries. Now, it's time to take it to the next level. 25 new contrast paints are expanding the range into a whole new realm of vibrant Kalauers. These new paints unlock wilder Kalauer uh, palettes for your armies, meaning they'll stand out even more. All right, cool. So this is like stuff primed in pure white, and then they just slapped a bunch of contrast over it to be like, look at how vibrant this is. I mean, it's pretty vibrant, though. Good job. And you can kind of see stuff under it. So this seems to me to be like a thick, like a thick fucking wash, essentially, right? Where... Yeah, it looks like flat open areas and crevices are getting covered, but then the stuff in between, it's thinner. And so you can see a little bit of what was underneath it. Hmm. All right. These are some of the boldest, the rules boldest and brightest colours for the contrast range. They're perfect for creating vivid finishes and striking effects. Who knows what arcane elements our paint technicians mixed up to get such vibrancy. Damn, I don't know if I want to use contrast though. Cause it if I'm if I'm looking at these pictures right, I bet it looks pretty thin in the non you know, in the non like open area and recesses areas, right? Because you see, it, we're getting some pooling here and here. I wonder how well you can paint over it, you know, like putting other stuff there. I feel like a contrast painted army, it's going to look great, probably, or it'll look fine or good, but it's going to have a part, like a contrast look to it. And so if I was going to paint with contrast paint, I would probably want to do it for a whole army instead of like Everything's done and I bought a new squad of guys and then I'm going to do contrast on those squad. I think those squad might look weird next to it. It seems like a whole project kind of paint. Although, you know, I guess I can't say. I'm not sure. I'd have to see it in IRL and maybe try to paint with it. Uh, it seems like the ultimate painting night haunt. <laughs> Ahem. Oof, rich and regal. This orange. It actually looks like the contrast was blasted for this photo. Like, I'm, I'm losing color information here. But surely they wouldn't dial up the contrast or saturation, I mean, just to make it look different in this photo. Not every miniature needs to be blindingly bright on the tabletop. True. A rich and easy to apply color is the perfect comp accompaniment. Accompaniment? To help the vibrant models and your armies stand out even more, these paints will give you reliable and resplendent results. No fuss. Ideal for the core color of an army. Um, this doesn't look good. Yeah, I don't like what I don't like what this looks like here. That being said, it it does look cool, like the super white into somewhat of a teal, I guess, or a, what would you even call it, a baby teal, maybe, or a, a super baby blue, desaturated, kind of. I would, I would want this for, like, uh, stone, maybe. 
some sort of cut stone or something. I don't know that I would do it for a ghost. I don't think this looks good. There's like too much pooling around all this stuff. But then again, you're not just you're not just only painting the model with like contrast and then saying it's done. Like obviously this is just step one. So maybe this is fine. Maybe it's fine. Um, this guy looks pretty neat. I actually like Gut Rip of Flesh. This is nice. That like swampy, slimy, dirty look. Um, this one's good for maybe you have like, maybe you're painting a cornucopia and you got some squash in there. The green squash, you give it this one. Um, this one's all right. Dreadful Visage, nice. Um, also hope the pallid ghouls and ethereal entities that can discorporate in the blink of an eye. Pilar Glacier creates the illusion of an icy surface with no hassle. Pilar Glacier. Where am I finding that one? Where's Pilar Glacier? Oh, this blue here. Okay. I think I agree. It kind of turns him into a three-dimensional ice cube. You get a little bit of an ice cube effect with this, don't you? Yeah, I think that's... At least as I'm looking at it here, that looks pretty decent. Yeah, it's kind of like an icy surface effect. Yeah, okay. Um, Briar Queen Chill, which sounds like you're telling her to, like it's a command. Briar Queen Chill, okay. Chill on the contrast, there's too much over here. Dreadful Visage live up to their names, alright, cool. Green Yellow, yeah, this green yellow is actually kind of cool. It's neat how it does both at the same time. Steadfast and grounded. All right. Celestium blue, which do be looking a bit purple here and there as it as the color gets deeper. And then Sigvald burgundy. God damn. Sexual Tyrannosaurus color. Sigvald burgundy. At your surface. This is like... Sigvald's great 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 grandchild in the year 2000 who's like a newscaster. It's weird because I don't know that Sigvald has any burgundy on him. I thought it was like I thought his color scheme was like gold, purple and white, like royal stuff. Um and then Storm Fiend, all right, cool. That is kind of the color that they're known for. Ooh, I like this. This, uh, greasy gear. Kind of a greasy clockwork. Grime. Gears and grime. Gargax sewer. Yeah, I like this. This one looks good. That looks very nice. Any KO players in the chat? Like, this shit would be actually kind of hot on them. Good work. Shit brown. I was thinking grease, but okay. Oh, maybe his cape was burnt. Yeah, you might be right, Kish Miles. You did contrast over Zenithal for your squigs. And they blend with normal paints fine. Oh, pictures in Discord? Are we checking tapes? Alright. Tape checking in progress. Mm. Where would it be? Happy to show on stream. Alright. This is... We got some... Some checking of the tapes here. These squigs are... Oh, no. the These... I think you probably... You seem to have just cut them out of this one, right? Yeah. A little low res. A little low res, but they look good. They look like they actually are good. If we up the resolution. Yeah, good teeth and jaws. You can see a lot of the wrinkles and everything. I think that's what they mean, right? Like, if you contrast, it's going to really... It's kind of like a wash in a way, but maybe a thick wash. These guys are looking pretty good. Five out of seven, by the way. And then obnoxious yellow. Deep purple. And not and not the band, I guess. Rattling Grime looks pretty good. It's similar to this, I suppose, except with more of a more of a bronze instead of a brass. And then Black Legion, which you probably have to see it in real life. I'm sure it looks better. 
Gotta get that sea slug soup dine. One of Realm's 41st Millennium boast countless miniatures. With a touch of the dark. As well as warriors clad in weathered armor and solemn simulacrums. Plus, every miniature needs to stand on something like a solid, dependable hero rock. I believe... Okay, so I don't play 40k. I don't play 40k, but wasn't it... Isn't it a tactical rock? Isn't that the term? I don't mean to speak out of turn here. But isn't it supposed to be called a tactical rock? Isn't that the meme? Or is it a is it a tactical rock in 40k, but it's a hero rock in AOS? Is that what it's supposed to be? Anyway, interesting. Corporate meme confirmed. Oh yeah, sad robot. I'm glad somebody's old enough to get my solemn simulacrum joke. Bring earthier tones, forest floor, and solid colors to life is easier than ever with Garga Hacks sewer. Right, blah blah. Tyrant blue. Look at they're they're getting like super zoomed in. They're actually showing us what it really looks like. Interesting. I don't know why this shit exists. But then again. I mean, maybe that's exactly the color you'd want. I feel like with a with such a light shade gray like this, anything you do above or below it is to, is going to kind of render it like really hard to notice. You can't. I guess it depends on how shady it is. Green, blue, red, deep, um, earthy red, mortarian grime, yeah, sickly yellow. <laughs> Tay Barracuda, thanks for the tier one, I appreciate it. Citadel Color um, Experts. Spent many months researching, developing, and testing, and painting with our Sade range to find out how to make them even better than they already are. The results of all this hard work is a total reformulation of all the shade paints and the creation of seven new shades. Oh, okay. So when you go to your local GW store, you're like, hey, are these the new shades or the old ones? I want that reformulated shit right, right here. I don't want that old shade. Give me that reformulated Lead free. These shade paints are designed to provide instant depth and easily create stronger shadows, speeding up the process of creating great looking models. Contrast paints are designed to tint surfaces and give an intense finish. New formulation ensures that shade paints will settle more effectively into the recesses of your miniatures while leaving the raised parts relatively untouched. Okay, that's what a shade's supposed to be, right? During the process of refining their recipes, our technicians were inspired to create seven entirely new paints, asterisk. Knowing reformulations, the old ones will be better. Oh no. Okay, well, maybe, maybe it'll be the opposite. I don't know. Formulate is to pour into a jar, is it? Less coffee staining, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Although, as I'm looking at it now, the answer is no, right? Because you're getting this. You know, you're getting this up here, you're getting this here. That there. I guess those are probably a little recessive, maybe. And a lot of coffee staining just kind of has to do with how you're applying it, not necessarily what it is. Alright. New versus old? Okay, let's see. Let's check this out. Let's check the tapes, shall we? Old meme. <laughs> check Discord for fresh new memes, by the way. Um, what do we got here? Oh, man. 
new one's looking hot. Look at that. It's too dark. Anyway, um, yeah, the old ones look slightly darker, and the new ones look slightly brighter. Sure. So I just made, like, a, a whiter white. This pick tells us nothing at all. I was gonna pretend to, like, change something, but it's just, like, there's no point, right? Um, white Scar is designed specifically for use with contrast paints. Sit alongside the cool, gray sear, and warmer Wraith Bone sprays. I tend to, myself, I tend to prime in, like, a bone color. And this isn't a... This isn't an American Psycho meme. Like, actually, the color is called bone. And then you do a little bit of a Zenithal thing sometimes, but honestly, usually not. Um... Because most of the paint I put on models is hella fucking thick. Probably too thick, actually. Um, although I'm told by actual everyone who knows anything about anything that Zenithal is the way to go. But then I'd probably have to thin my paints. and You know, maybe someday. Maybe in 2025. Maybe in another three years. The color's called Cerulean Braille. Yeah. The, the text. Just don't ask what the Citadel Kalauer team had to offer the Golden Demon for arcane knowledge of its unique spray. Oh, cool. Together with the new contrast paints reformulated, you'll find it easier than ever to achieve the results you want to make your miniatures pop on the battlefield. Oh, they put the baby carrier in there. I'd be, bro, I'd be hiding that thing, but okay. Yeah, a lot of these seem cool. I don't know if it's going to change how I paint. But a lot of these seem cool. And feels like, you know, feels like one of those, hey, you know what would be really helpful for this thing I'm trying to do? This new tool, you know, this arrow in my quiver. It seems like that. Pop, yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah sure. Pop! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This cornucopia... This coluracopia, an absolute broadside of bold hues and new prismatic tones, and we can't wait to see what you do with these new paints. Let us know what your next painting challenge is, which miniatures and armies you're looking forward to tackling using the hashtag painting Warhammer hashtag on Twitter and Instagram. I will be using that for my streams, even if I'm not painting, just to ride the algorithm. Get owned. Here on Warhammer Community, we have articles going deeper into the science behind these paints. Oh, cool. And period, lowercase, we will also have news about when they're released. Keep your brush at the ready and stick with us by signing up for the Warhammer Community Newsletter. I will not. The floor gloss shades, Nuln Oil Gloss, Agrax Earth Shade Gloss, Reichland Gloss, and Cryptech are leaving the range. Gone but not forgotten. The four gloss shades are going away. Now, if you're anything like me, the only time you ever... the first time you realized that some of their shades were gloss was when you intended on buying Agrax Earthshade. And then you got home and started painting with it, and you're like, why the fuck does this look varnished? This ruined the thing I was... what is this? And then you look on it and you're like, gloss? You have glosses. I thought this was a shade. And then you never bought it again. Um, perhaps there's some actual use for them, like, I don't know, maybe putting on top of metals or something. So, I guess it's sad that they're leaving. Surely there's a use for them, right? There's a use for everything, painting-wise. Get them while they're gloss. Good one. Gloss is good over metal. But also you can use it and then matte varnish and they flow better. Okay. As I thought. On top of metals if you're lazy and just want to put on some gloss varnish. Okay. Makes sense. For mechanical stuff. Also, Dinma, your message was... um. Your, your message was captured by the robot moderator. 
um, because in America, you could um, maybe misconstrue something like that back in the day. But we're talking about paints. Glengarry Glen Gloss, good one. 